The Perth Mint, the perfect alternative, one might say, to the Royal Mint, who have, I think, lost my trust, certainly, as a collector and buyer. So I've taken the plunge and I have bought myself some coins directly from the Perth Mint. And oh my goodness, what a set it is. So we're going to unbox this, have a look at it, and share my experiences as a customer of the Perth Mint and why I feel that I'm going to be spending a lot of money with them and not the Royal Mint anymore. Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a very warm welcome to you all joining me for this week's In Focus Friday where we look at something cool made of silver. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, I am basically boycotting the Royal Mint at the moment. I really don't feel like I want to buy any of their products at all. So what's the alternative for me as a collector? And I am a collector first often when it comes to these kind of things. The Perth Mint just caught my eye with a beautiful set of Lunar Dragon coins. So I bought them directly from the Perth Mint to the UK and they've arrived. And I want to give you all a little bit of, of course, an unboxing and we'll look at the coins and show them what they're all about, but also my experiences such that maybe, just maybe, somebody from the Royal Mint might be able to see and, uh, and find out why the Perth Mint are just so much better. So here we have uh, the Australian Lunar Series 3 coins. These are the 2024 Year of the Dragon half ounce silver 10 coin set. Now, this is a premium product, as you would expect from uh, Perth Mint. It's going to be high quality. I've already had a sneak peek inside, and the quality is fantastic. That's one thing the Royal Mint needs to sort of take awareness of. Now, in terms of some of the other things that's really impressive, the whole buying process was great, and I was a little bit apprehensive. I know a lot of people in the UK have bought from the Perth Mint before, but I was a little bit apprehensive. I've never bought from them directly, and um, but it was super simple. Just paid with a debit card, easy peasy. Sh shipping was free. After over a certain amount of cost, you get free shipping from the Perth Mint to the United Kingdom. I got an immediate email, which I suppose you get from the Royal Mint as well, but I got an e immediate email to say uh, order has been confirmed. And I got updates when the order was, uh, was payment confirmed and when all of the processing was done. And then when things were ready to be shipped, it, it was an email straight away saying there would be a small delay as this product is uh, being produced. And then as soon as it was, fantastic, it was in the post and it was sent with, uh, I believe it was FedEx. Was it FedEx? Yes, it was FedEx. I remember the box. It was a big FedEx box and it arrived. Now, for some of you out there who might be wondering about things like import duties, that is a factor to put into things. But as a per unit cost item, this was cheaper than your standard proof coins that you might get from the Royal Mint, working out about 50, I think it's about 55 pounds per ounce worth of silver in here. But these aren't proof coins, these are just the colored version. So they're at a lower level. So in terms of price point comparisons, it's around the same price that you would expect to pay. But I feel like you're just getting so much better customer experience and value from this set than you are from some of the Royal Mint products out there. So. Here we have it, and you can see why I decided to get it. It is absolutely stunning, really is incredible. Now, the original design here of the uh, Perth Mint uh, Dragon has split opinion. I'm not going to ignore the elephant in the room. I don't think I can say that when it's a dragon-themed coin. I'm not going to ignore the dragon in the room, that there are some people who don't really like it. I personally am a huge fan of it. I think it is fantastic. It looks really very good. But this set has not just that design, which is duplicated in the gold gilded version and the colored version here, but it has a whole host of other designs. So if you are not massively enamored by that, then you can go and choose any of these other ones, uh, is my way of thinking it. And I think that's really cool. I like this. This is a very, very attractive set of coins. So um, well done to the Perth Mint. I will also add, there's a beautiful little um, extra down here where you can basically screw these little feet into the back of your display board and then you have it as a display stand which is a nice extra little touch. Now packaging all fantastic like a Perth Mint second to none when it comes to quality they know what they are doing and uh, the coins are fantastic I, would, I knew they would be I don't have to worry about quality control or anything so for me, it's a big thumbs up right now, and the Royal Mint, you know, 
listen and learn and maybe speak with your compatriots down under. So we're just going to go through all of the coins and have a look at them. Uh, these are, as I mentioned, premium products. They are not going to necessarily be investment products. But what I will say is that Perth Mint, because of the high level of quality that goes into all of their products and their colorized uh, lunars are really good. The Year of the Dragon is a very, very cool theme as well. And to have all of these different designs, what what went through my mind at least was, I cannot see this set being something that isn't massively popular and collectible at some point in the future. And whilst it's a very difficult market right now for the premiums, I also thought that there's not going to be a huge amount of them coming over to the United Kingdom. So I figured, well, why not? Now, if you look on the Perth Mints website right now, they are, I think, very close to being completely sold out. In fact, we haven't really looked at the, uh, the certificate of authenticity to get an idea of what's going on. So for each of these um, half ounce colored coins, there we go, there's the specifications. There are a mintage of 200,000 on each, but in this particular presentation, there is only 3,000 888. 888 is a very auspicious number, or the, the number eight is a very auspicious number within Chinese culture. So it's nice to see it didn't go to 4,000. That would have been a very unlucky number. Four is a very, very unlucky number. It represents death, whereas eight represents good fortune and good luck. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then the sort of key coin, I suppose, within this is the half ounce gilded version of the Year of the Dragon coin is the one that you can only get by getting this whole set. And it's got its own little limited mintage of 3,888, which is a very, very low mintage all told. So you can see all of the other uh, sort of specifications there. Lots of extra information on the lunar calendars there as well from the Perth Mint and my little certificate number there as well. So that's all very, very nice. Uh, now, where did I get to? I think I, sh maybe I showed this one already. I apologize if I'm duplicating, but do you know what? They're all so bloody good that we can just have another good close look at all of them. It's really, really well done. The coloring on these coins is second to none. Uh, the technology has got so much better. I do have, I think somewhere buried away in a safe, uh, one or two of the Perth Mint Lunar colored coins from the, was it series? It wasn't series one. It might be the end of series one, actually. I don't remember. I, I remember getting a colored dragon that was in a, um, in a slab, a slabbed version of it. Really loved it. And it's one of the coins that, you know, you just put in a box and just love to have in your collection. And these likewise are absolutely stunning to have in the collection. But the quality of these have just gone up and up and up over the years and the technology used to create them and to have these vibrant, beautiful colors. I hope the camera is doing it justice. Uh, this red one here, is my favorite of the bunch. I just love the four claws. It's like he's been thrown at a window or something. He's stuck there. It's fantastic. But the color is so vibrant, so beautiful that it really does stand out for me. Um, but it'd be great to know what you guys, I mean, this gold one down here is my second favorite. We're saving all the best for last. It'd be great to know what you guys think about your favorite. Which one of these do you like best? Please do comment down below. I also like that there's a slightly different background behind each of the dragons as well. It's not just the same kind of design, but with a different dragon slapped on it, which is also really cool. And products like this, where you can get 10 different designs. Go on camera, focus on this last dragon. There we go. Where you can get 10, well, I say 10, it's nine different designs with one design duplicated over two different types. Um, is really cool and that's innovative and that's what people want. They want to see something that's different. They don't want to have the same thing over and over again. And I know for me as a collector, as an investor collector, let's call myself, uh, that this ticks all of the boxes for me in terms of quality, intrigue, really cool product, and something that I think is very nice. Now, the only little piece of criticism that I'm going to levy towards the Perth Mint, because I have to say something, is that there is a small little gap in the felt. You might be able to see it there. You can just see this, and it's on every single one. And I don't know whether that's by design to sort of help get the coins in and out. I can't really see a practical reason why, because there's uh, on the reverse, you've got all of the coins e easily able to be accessed. So I don't quite know what that's for, but it just my eye a little bit and means that I notice it, which is a bit annoying, but I'll live with it because everything else is so very, very nice indeed. So yeah, um, Perth Mint, love it. And I will be looking out for more uh, products that I like that I want to collect, that I enjoy from the Perth Mint, certainly 
over the ones that are coming out from the Royal Mint at the moment. And I hope you can see exactly for why I'm making those choices because this is great, it really is. And it does make, it makes, it makes me smile inside. It really does. And there's that cold gilded version again. It's really, really good. I like it. I like the design. I don't care what lots of other people think. I think it's great. So there we have the Perth Mint, Luna 3, Year of the Dragon, half ounce, nine designs with lots of different colored coins. It's beautiful. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Otherwise, a big thank you to everybody for watching, especially to my Backyard Bullion Ramblers and to, of course, the Cool Kids Club members. I salute you. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.